Businesses in Danville are on edge tonight after a convenience store owner is shot dead while at work. So far, no one has been arrested. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstad is live outside the store. So Coulter, uh, who did you talk to today about this? Lindsay, I spoke to a convenience store owner, the, or the owner of a convenience store, rather, about half a mile away from the Joy Food store where I'm at right now, where the homicide happened yesterday. I also spoke to a convenience store employee on North Mo uh, Main Street. Both say they are nervous, and the convenience store owner says he is now seriously considering moving his business. This one kind of hits a little too close to home. Nadim Hassan owns River Street Mart, about half a mile from the Joy Food Store, where store owner 54-year-old Tahir Mahmoud was found shot to death behind the counter around 10 a.m. yesterday. Hassan says crime in Danville was already a concern for him, but Mahmoud's death is especially concerning. It's uh, another store owner that, you know, he, he was just trying to make a living, you know, earn a living for his family. Friends of Mahmoud said yesterday that he had been attacked at the store before and was actually trying to sell the building so he could move his store to a safer area. Hassan says for a while he has also been considering moving, even moving out of the city altogether. Now he's considering that idea more seriously. This incident really makes me want to move a little quicker, you know. It's one thing to be financially secure and then there's another thing to fear for your life. Nicole Conway works at the convenience store at the corner of North Main and James Street. She said just before I walked in, she and a co-worker were talking about the homicide. Knowing that the person is still out here also makes us very nervous. Police have not made any arrests yet or said if any suspects have been identified. Conway says she now wants to increase security at the store. More patrols would be nice. Hassan agrees that increased patrols around convenience stores would make him feel safer, but he also understands that there is only so much that the police department can do. Coming up tonight on WSLS 10 at 6, hear what the police department says convenience stores and businesses in general can do to reduce the chance of becoming a target for criminals. Live in Danville, Colter Anstadt, WSLS 10.